use the data below to find the standard error for beta 1, the standard error of the slope estimator. So we need to take this data, the x and y uh, rows of data, and make them into columns and then manipulate those columns until we have all the sum of square values that we need. So in other words, what we need to do is to get the information that's required to come up with our sum of square values. So in other words, we need to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for x, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6 for y, and then from there we need to fill in all those other columns that we always need. Like for example, we'll need x squared. We'll also need y squared in the problem. And then we're going to need x times y. So this is just a little bit of tedious arithmetic that we have to do, correct? So we need to square all the x's, so that'll be 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. Then the y squares will have 2 squared is 4, 2 squared is 4, 4 squared is 16, 3 squared is 9, 6 squared is 36. And then the x times y column, so 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, right? Uh, 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 3 is 12, and then 5 times 6 is 30. So that's all the columns filled in. That didn't take too long, luckily, because we have some simple integers to work with. Now the next step is to do the arithmetic to add up all these columns. So we have to add up all the data. So let's do that together. So it looks like we have 15 here. We have 5, and 5 is 10, and 5 more is 15. And then for this one, we have, um, let's see, 6 and 4 makes 10, and then 15, 16, 17. And then here we have a 20, that's 45, 46, 46 and 9 is what, 55 there? 55? Okay, and then from there we have a 20, and then another 24, 24 and 36 makes what, 60, and then 69, I guess? And then lastly we'll have 30, and 24 is 54, 54 and 6 is 60. Okay, so you'll want to double check that arithmetic, but I believe that's all correct. Then we have to come up with the sum of squares values. So in order to do that, we're going to need to name these so we can use them in the formulas for our sum of squares. So we're going to call this column the sum of x, not the column, but rather the total is the sum of the x column. This total is the sum of the y column. This is the sum of x squared, and this is the sum of y squared, and this of course is the sum of x times y. Now once we have all of those values, we need to plug them into our formulas for the different sum of squares. Let's get xx first. So what we do for the sum of square for xx is we actually take this guy here, the sum of x squared, and we do 55 minus the sum of x quantity squared divided by n. Now the n is the number of ordered pairs we had. We had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different ordered pairs. So that's the first formula. For the next formula, let's say sum of squares for xy, we have to put x times y, the sum of x times y, which is this guy, that's 60, minus the sum of x times the sum of y, that'll be 15 times 17 divided by the same 5 from before. And then we'll have the sum of square for yy that needs to be done. Okay, so the sum of square for yy is the sum of y squared, which will be 69, minus the sum of y quantity squared, right, over 5. Okay, so let's work those out with a calculator and see what they give us. Okay, starting with the first one, it's 55 minus 15 squared divided by 5. All right, we get the answer 10 for that one. We could have, of course, done some of these in our head because 225 divided by 5 minus 55 would have given us that same answer. Then 60 minus 15 times 17 divided by 5. In this case, we get 9. That would be the same as doing 3 times 17, or 51, minus 60, which gives us 9. So again, we don't need the calculator here, but you know, if you're comfortable using it, we'll do it. Divided by 5, and it gives us the answer 11.2. 11.2. Okay, so there's our three important values that we're going to need in the next steps of the problem. Now, the very next steps of the problem are going to entail us getting the important quantities that we do for the test statistic, essentially, when we run a hypothesis test for the beta 1 value. The way we work that, then, is essentially we need to first get beta 1 hat. We have to know what that value is. But actually, for our calculation 
in this problem, we won't need that just to get the standard error for beta 1 hat. So if we were doing that in a hypothesis testing problem, we would have to work it out. For here, we can skip that. However, one thing we do need to get is the sum of square for error. So in that formula, we will need SSYY minus beta 1 hat times SSXY. So you can just enter the formula in here directly for SSE, or you can work it out first. Once you have that, then the next step of the problem is, is we're going to work out S, which will be equal to SSE over N minus two, and all of that under the square root. And then finally, after we have S, we're gonna do the very last step, which is to say S of beta one hat is equal to S from this calculation, divided by the square root of SSXX. Okay, so we're gonna work these one, two, three, four formulas out on the next page here in just a moment. Let's get another sheet of paper out so we can do those calculations now. Okay, so let's work on beta one first. To do beta one hat, that is, sorry, beta one hat, we're gonna do SSXY over SSXX. All right, now in our case, we worked out SSXY to be nine, right? So it'll be nine over SSXX, which is 10. So that works out to be 0.9 or nine tenths. Okay, so that's the answer for beta one. Now we're gonna take beta one and enter it into SSE. So SSE turns out to be SSYY, that's gonna be 11.2. Then we're gonna have minus the beta one value, which we found out was 0.9 just a moment ago, times the mixed term. Now the mixed term is nine, right? Okay, let's work that out and see what that gives us. So I have 11.2 minus 0.9 times nine. And when we're done, we get 3.1 for that answer, 3.1. Okay, so SSE is to be used in our next calculation, which is the calculation you get S the estimator for the standard deviation of the error term. So that's gonna be our SSE value like we have here, which is 3.1, divided by N minus two. And we only had five unique pairs of data points to start with, right? So we take away two and we end up with three as our N minus two value. Let's do that now as well. So we'll have 3.1 divided by three, and then we're gonna raise that to the half power, which is the same as taking the square root. And we get 1.01653, etc. So 1.01653 Okay, so I'll just keep that in my calculator for the next calculation, which is our answer to this problem. In order to get the standard error for beta one hat, we finish it by doing S over the square root of SSXX. Now, S is 1.0165 dot 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 divided by the square root of the value we had there, which was just 10. Okay, I still have that number in my calculator, so I'm just gonna hit divide by the square root of 10 to finish it up. All right, and we get the answer 0 0.32145, so 0 0.32145 dot 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 on and on and on. If you want to round it off, we'll just say 0 0.03215. Okay, so that's our solution to the problem, and we're done.